so here we'll talk about mummification it is nothing but modification of putrefaction so it's a rapid dehydration or desiccation or shriveling of the dead body from the evaporation of water with preservation of natural appearances and features of the body so the main thing you have to remember in mummification is evaporation of water so when the water is evaporated from the body the skin sticks to the bone so it appears mummified the body appears to be stiff brittle odorless dark and shriveled so the entire body weight loses the body appears to be thin stiff brittle odorless dark and shriveled normal decomposition of the dead body is prevented by because the growth of the microorganisms is retarded because of evaporation of water there will be no growth of the microorganisms happening so because of that the normal decomposition is prevented the body is mummified so the conditions required for this are high temperature low humidity and good ventilation so factors favoring this uh, mummification one is hot environment see mummification mummified bodies are seen mainly in egypt it is nearer to the sahara desert so it has odd environment like deserts so what is happening here the basically the main point you have to remember in mummification is evaporation of water so obviously if the condition is hot the environment is hot then there will be evaporation of water so the first one is hot environment favors mummification second one dry atmosphere uh, so the atmosphere is dry again it leads to evaporation of water and uh, favors mummification third point is free air movement it is seen that free air movement helps in rapid evaporation of body fluids there is more free air movement then obviously there will be rapid evaporation of body leads to mummification and poisoning like chronic arsenic poisoning or antimony poisoning favors mummification so the m in antimony stands for mummification remember it it is very important antimony poisoning can favor mummification contact of the body with the absorbing media which absorbs the water so shallow grooves dry sandy soils mummifies earlier due to absorption of body fluids rapidly so these are the different conditions which favors the uh, this process one is hot atmosphere dry atmosphere low humid conditions high temperature free air movement which uh, allows the evaporation of body fluids poisoning like antimony poisoning contact of the body with the absorbing media so the whole point it revolves around is evaporation of body fluids or evaporation of water so the time required for the mummification is usually 3 to 12 months or it can also take longer so the features it begins from the face hands and feet and then extends to the entire body so absorption of the liquefied subcutaneous fat leads to translucency of the skin shrunken contracted dry brittle leathery rusty brown stretched skin is appeared poachment like appearance can be seen fingers are unsuitable for the fingerprinting and dry shrinking stretching causes splits in the body the splits are seen in the groin area neck region and the armpits region so internal organs also decrease in the size due to the loss of water content peripheral mummification takes place around 2 uh, to 3 days peripheral means hands and feet with the help of complementary environmental conditions this whole process can be done between 3 weeks to 3 months the time requirement for the complete mummification varies uh, based on the different factors like high temperature low humidity and different conditions so the medical legal importance is mummification is a sign of death and also you can estimate the time since death also so the place of disposal is also known if the body is disposed in dry desert areas or any shallow grooves with the sandy soils and all then it, it leads to mummification so you can also know this place of disposal and cause of that is can also be known identification is possible because where the important point we have mentioned here is you know, preservation of natural appearances and the features of the body so the first point is evaporation of water second point preservation of natural appearances is there can help in identification of the body and scrotal mummification is confused uh, as suspicious injury because of the splits and all of the drying shrinking and the stretching of the skin the splits which are formed can be confused with suspicious injury so this is about mummification the points you have to remember is the it is a modification of the putrefaction second point it revolves around the evaporation of water the more the evaporation the easily the body can be mummified and the preservation of natural appearances are there that's why the body can be identified later so the how the body appears it appears to be thin the skin attached to the bones and then stiff brittle odorless dark and shriveled the white is odorless because decomposition is not happening why it is not happening because the microorganisms growth is retarded what are the conditions which are favoring which is hot temperature dry atmosphere that means low humid conditions high temperature good ventilation free air movement which allows rapid evaporation of body fluids poisoning like antimony arsenic and contact of the body with the absorbing media the important point is drying shrinking and stretching causes splitting in some areas which can be misinterpreted as some injuries organs also decrease in size because of the loss of water so the whole thing revolves around evaporation of water so this is about mummification bye